SAP landscapes have advanced needs for backup storage, especially when you design high availability and disaster recovery. In Google Cloud, there are many options for backup to choose from. What are these options? Which one is relevant for your SAP deployment scenario or use case? What is unique to Google Cloud? Hi, I am Ramesh Surparaju, and in this video, I will answer these questions on backup strategies and solutions for SAP systems on Google Cloud. Customers run mission critical business processes on their SAP systems. Downtimes must be kept to a minimum to ensure business continuity. Regular backup of data ensures speedy recovery from potential data loss. Google Cloud offers cost-effective native capabilities as well as partner solutions for backup of data. Before we look at various backup options, let us look at a typical SAP deployment. Here is the architecture of a SAP deployment on Google Cloud. The application layer is a set of one or more SAP NetWeaver application servers deployed on Compute Engine with associated persistent disk storage in a specific zone within a Google Cloud region. The database layer has a single database server for SAP and is also deployed on Compute Engine with associated persistent disk storage. Zooming in on the storage part of this architecture, we can see that there are a few specific volumes at file system level that are relevant for backup. In the application layer, these are the virtual machine boot disk, the folders for SAP MNT and swap space. At the database layer, the relevant volumes are again the boot disk, folders that contain the data and logs of the database, and folders that hold the database backups. Google Cloud recommends to separate these backup relevant folders from the boot disks into separate persistent disks. Google also recommends that SSD disks are used, especially for SAP HANA installations due to their performance and throughput requirements. HDD can be used for cost optimization and backup purposes. Now let us look at an example of a centralized S4 HANA deployment on Google Cloud. When I select this deployment in the Google Cloud console and click on the name of the instance, we can see the disk layout for this deployment. Here, you can see the boot disk of the S4 instance and all the other backup relevant volumes created and attached to the S4 instance. Now let me introduce you to the backup options for each component of a SAP installation on Google Cloud. Persistent disk snapshots are global resources that offer a simple and straightforward way for backup. Cloud storage buckets offer regional, dual region, and multi-region storage options that can support high availability and disaster recovery architectures of SAP installations. Cloud storage also offers different storage classes like near line, cold line, and archive storage with rule-based configuration for time to live and transitioning between these storage classes. Partner solutions for shared file systems like NetApp, Cloud Volumes, also offer resilient backup option using cloud storage buckets. Cloud File Store is a cost-effective option for single-zone SAP installations like SAP HANA Scale-Out in a single zone where high availability is achieved by standby nodes within the same zone. How can these options be used to backup SAP systems? At the application layer, you can schedule PD snapshots as backup for disks of the SAP NetWeaver application server. For multi-instance installations, where a shared file storage like NetApp is used, you can use the features of the shared file solution to backup disks to cloud storage buckets. At the database layer too, you can schedule snapshots of PDs. 
In case of SAP HANA database, you can bypass the persistent disks for HANA backup volumes and use Backint Agent for Google Cloud to directly backup to cloud storage buckets. Let me drill down into the application layer. This architecture shows a multi-instance SAP NetWeaver installation with separate VMs for primary and additional application servers, as well as the central services. You can see that the snapshots are created for each of the backup relevant disks, like the boot disk, SAP MNT, and the swap space folders. You can schedule these snapshots for automating the backup mechanism across your SAP landscape. Now let me show you how to schedule a snapshot of a persistent disk. Here, you can see the existing snapshot schedules for a centralized two-tier deployment of a S4 HANA system where the database and application server are all installed on a single server. While you can see schedules exist for boot, swap, and other disks of this deployment, a schedule for backup of HANA data is still missing. Let us go ahead and see how to create one. Here, I navigate to the relevant persistent disk, which is called S4 HANA dash data, and see that there is no snapshot schedule for this disk. I will proceed to edit the disk configuration to create one. Notice that you need not stop the VM to do this. Once I am in the edit mode of the disk, I can choose to create a snapshot schedule and specify required configuration like name, description, location of the snapshot, regional or multi-regional, the scheduled frequency and start time for taking the snapshot. I can also specify the deletion rules. In my example, I want it to be 90 days. After entering all parameters, I click Create. Finally, I save the disk configuration. The schedule to take snapshots for the HANA data disk is now active. You can check in the snapshot schedules page that there is now a new schedule to backup the HANA data volume. Productive SAP installations often use shared file storage in the application layer to enable faster failover of application servers. Shared file solutions like NetApp Cloud Volumes also offer configuration of snapshots of the shared disks to Google Cloud Storage Buckets. Let me move on to the database layer. If the database server is SAP HANA, you have two alternatives. The first option is to create schedules to snapshot the relevant disks and automate a regular backup of your database. Alternative option is to use the SAP HANA Backint Agent for Google Cloud. The HANA Backint Agent is a free of cost software agent that can be downloaded from Google Cloud to be installed on the VM that runs your SAP HANA. Once the Backint Agent is installed, you can specify the cloud storage bucket into which the backup files are to be stored. You can then turn on the options for catalog and log backup to use the backend agent. Another feature is to enable parallel backup streams to decrease backup times drastically. When this configuration is done, your SAP HANA system and databases will now use the backend agent to backup directly to Google Cloud Storage Bucket. All the subsequent backups that are triggered by your SAP HANA database are directly stored in the specified Google Cloud Storage Bucket instead of a file system folder of a persistent disk. In this way, you can bypass the need to provision a persistent disk for HANA backup volumes. Here, you can see the storage bucket in which the HANA backup files are stored. You can see that the systems and the tenant databases have separate backup folders. And of course, you can restore a database 
directly from its bucket location. To complete the database layer, this architecture shows the snapshots scheduled for all backup relevant folders in case of any other database server like Sybase ASC or a MS SQL server. You can refer to the relevant database server documentation for the exact location and names of the data, log, and backup folders. To summarize, Google Cloud recommends separate disks for backup relevant volumes of your SAP deployment. You can schedule snapshots of persistent disks as primary mechanism for backup of SAP systems. Shared file solutions also support snapshots to Google Cloud Storage. You can use SAP HANA Backend Agent for Google Cloud to bypass persistent disks for HANA backup volumes. You can find a lot more information about backup options and solutions for SAP deployments on Google Cloud at the links below this video. Also, please navigate to cloud.google.com forward slash SAP for information about other topics related to SAP on Google Cloud. Thanks for listening.